Welcome everyone to Edureka YouTube channel. Your one stop solution for learning the most trending technologies. My name is Saurabh and today I'll be talking about how does RPA work. We hear a lot about how automation will change the world and how it will satisfy the needs of manual workforce to build and deploy new processes on a day to day basis. Whether it is a small or a big organization, all of them are aiming to automate its business processes in a way that it complements the manual strategizing and also the process remains uninterrupted. RPA or robotic process automation is a new age technological marvel that is utilized by enterprises to automate the day-to-day -day manual tasks and processes. The manual tasks include data extraction, invoice processing, processing portal queries and prices, maintaining consumer data, validating files and many more. Now performing these tasks without automation could be quite tedious. So the solution to this problem is robotic process automation. Now let's understand what is RPA. Consider an instance where you want to publish your articles on various social groups at a specific time every day. Would you wish to do it manually yourself every day for each and every article? Well, this would cost you a lot and also would be tiresome for you. Instead, you could just make a robot to do it for you. You could just configure a computer software or a robot to interpret the human actions and imitate them. So here you can configure a robot to publish the articles every day at the mentioned time. That would not only cost you less but would also be less tiresome. So robotic process automation or RPA is a process of automating the task or processes with the help of robots or software to reduce the human intervention. Now these bots can either just follow the rules defined by the user or can use the machine learning capabilities to suggest the user with recommendations and generate meaningful results. RPA can also be used to automate humongous amount of tasks in the field such as human resources, financial service, healthcare, supply chain management, customer service, accounting etc etc. Each industry can use RPA in their own way to reduce the manual workforce and work with a better efficiency. So as to ensure that the intelligence of the manual workforce is used in a better way to benefit the organization. Now how do you think RPA is applied in these industries as in the world of RPA physical robots do not work? Well, the RPA is applied in the industry using the enormous amount of tools it has on a day to day basis. The most popular tools are UiPath, Blue Prism and Automation Anywhere. These tools prosper in the market because of their user interface, vendor experience, maintenance and support and so on. Any RPA tool that you choose must perform three functionalities. It should be able to interact with various systems either through screen scraping or API integrations. It should be able to make decisions and determine its actions based on inputs gathered from other systems. It should have an interface to program the bot. So now, let me show you an example of the process of RPA to help you understand how does RPA actually work. Consider a scenario where you have to read hundreds of invoices and extract the data from those invoices to store the data into specific cells of an Excel file. How do you think you can start automating this task? Well, our first step is to locate all the invoices to be processed in a single folder so that the bot design can easily access it. Then, you can define the actions of a bot to read the files from the folder one after the other until all the files are read. Now, once the bot starts opening the files, it has to extract specific data values and store it into an Excel file. To do that, you have to next design a step to extract the data value or identify the field from which you want to store the data either by dragging your mouse over the area or by mentioning a variable. Then you have to mention the relative area that is, the area next to the field from which you wish to extract the data. Similarly, you can repeat this action until all the fields are designed to extract. Till now, you have designed your automation to only extract data, but you haven't defined the rules to store the data into specific cells. To define this, you can mention the starting cell name for example, A1 and automatically iterate a loop to store the next extracted value of the same invoice in the same row but the next column. Once all the data has been stored for a single file, you have to define the rules for your bot in such a way that it iterates for the next file also. So to do that, you can just define the rule to go one cell below and to the beginning of the row of the active cell. Then you have to repeat the action of extracting data and storing the values in the Excel sheet. This will store the values of all the fields in the designated Excel sheet. And that's how you can design the process of automation. But the life cycle of RPA does not end here. Once the business requirements are analyzed and a bot is developed to automate a specific task, the next step that comes into picture is running the testing cycles to analyze the quality and correct defects in the automation workflow simultaneously. 
After the development and testing phases, a bot enters the maintenance phase in which it provides continuous support and helps in immediate defect resolution. This is how RPA works and how a single or complex process can be automated. Now that we know what is RPA and how it can be applied, let us now look into the benefits of RPA. So some of the benefits are accuracy. So RPA softwares are generally less prone to errors and function with the high uniformity and precision. Next come consistency. So this software is built in such a way that all repetitive tasks are performed in the same manner, even if it is thousandth time. It also helps in reducing the cost. RPA reduces the manual workforce and hence reduces the cost used to perform any task. It also increases the productivity rate. What I mean by that? The execution time to perform any task is much faster when compared to that of a manual approach. Finally, no or less coding is required. So RPA software doesn't require much programming knowledge. So even if you are from a non-IT background, you can definitely start your career in the field of robotic process automation to automate the task. So robotic process automation not only improves the timelines, but also improves the quality and productivity of the resources. With today's world moving towards automation and RPA being the key leader to it, this has definitely opened up a lot of opportunities for various roles and responsibilities in the RPA field as an RPA developer. So RPA developers are sophisticated developers of automation tasks with hands-on experience in the top RPA tools such as UiPath, Automation Anywhere and Blue Prism. RPA developers work for enterprises, are responsible for problem solving and designing the automation based on the need. Once the automation is designed and rolled into production, an RPA developer also needs to make sure that the designed automation is achieving the desired results. With such high responsibilities, an RPA developer earns a whooping amount of approximately 97,000 US dollars. So now let's look at how you can become an RPA developer. You need to learn to analyze business processes and design automations around it. You also need to develop an understanding on which process can be automated. Apart from that, you have to gain hands-on experience on the various tools available in the market and then you can start implementing the automation designs which you might have created. Finally, you should be able to test your automation whether they are good to go or not. So guys, I hope you have understood what is robotic process automation and how RPA works. Now that we know how to become a RPA developer, let me tell you the most important RPA skills that organizations look for. First, you need to understand how to analyze a business requirement and at the same time, you should be very good in understanding the flow of control. You should have hands-on experience in RPA tools like Blue Prism, UiPath and Automation Anywhere. You also need to understand how to integrate various components. At the same time, no or less coding skills are required. So that's all from our side today. I hope you have found this video informative. If you have any questions related to the video, please comment in the comment section. Until then, thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!